okay so now we will see two more examples on uh, this mobile flows one is get a uh, push notification when you receive an email from your boss and the other one is how we can uh, quick track your work hours and work location in an excel table so these two things we will see on this particular example so now i will open a flow over here so you can see here i will type uh, flow dot uh, microsoft.com and on this uh, it is if you have not logged in make sure to log in and uh, then this is your uh, home page from here click on this templates and uh, then uh, then if you see here uh, click on this uh, mobile uh, or you can say a button uh, that also fine so in the mobile uh, categories if you'll see there is a get a uh, push notification when you receive an email from your boss so click on that and now if you'll see here now this will uh, the template will run and you can see here it, it required uh, office 365 uh, outlook permission and then user uh, user things and the notification because we required uh, we required to uh, read the user manager like this um then create click on create flow then uh, if you'll see here now this is what is open so this is the flow now click on edit here we will see what is exactly uh, this flow contents uh, now if you'll see here on new email then uh, we'll retrieve uh, 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 the retrieve from my profile so get my profile so from there we'll pick the uh, manager and then if you uh, check the manager and then it will based on that condition um, if it is yes if the manager is present then we will do a send a push notification but before that if you'll see if I'll click on on new email you will see here we want to uh, uh, send a notification if it is uh, coming uh, or the email is coming to the inbox so that to other other things also if you click on that you will be able to uh, select the other options also so let's uh, focus here the inbox so next if you'll see here here we are retrieving the profile and here the manager so uh, this thing we are retrieving and uh, then we are checking if the manager uh, uh, is equal to uh, you are here in the uh, this my profile if you'll see here we are retrieving uh, the the fields so we are checking and uh, then we are sending the get notification here so boss sale and subject and if you want to have a link you can provide the link also so this is how it will be now what i'll do is i will uh, open uh, the manager uh, email address you can see here this is my manager is bhavna so uh, this is the id so what i'll do is i will uh, click a new email message and here i will say uh, we will send the email here and uh, then i will put uh, the subject suppose i will say test email so click on send now if you'll see here so this is how actually we our uh, uh, this is how the next this uh, this this one will trigger you can see here this is uh, one is running already and uh, if you will click on that we will be able to see the status also you can see here the flow run successfully uh, you can see here this tick mark so that means this is executed successfully and uh, the email also came and then uh, uh, a push notification also is there in my mobile so if I'll, if I'll check my uh, mobile now I can see uh, a, a push notification which is saying boss uh, said test email or whatever the subject is there so this is how actually we can use this uh, push notification when we can uh, receive an email from your boss so that you do if you are not in uh, mobile uh, or if you are not in uh, if you are not able to access your email at least you will be able to get notified and uh, uh, there it will print the subject also in the uh, in the push notification so that you can you will be able to know what is this email is all about so this is how we can use uh, this particular uh, flow uh, template and we can have a push notification so now coming back to the other one where we are saying uh, 
get track your work hours and work location in an excel table so for this one what we will do is we will first create one excel uh, having three columns in that so we'll have to make a kind of table out there so i will uh, go to uh, you can see here i will go here i will create one excel uh, workbook so i will say let's say a uh, timeout timeout something like that and uh, what we will do is we will create a uh, two column on this uh, sorry three column first one is a uh, date next one we will put a uh, time uh, stamp something like this and the last one we will put a uh, full address something like this uh, we will put it here now we will make uh, this as a, a table so i will let's uh, copy this and uh, from here format as a table and we will say like this make uh, my table has headers because we want this to, this thing to be the headers now click on uh, save so once you save this next what we will do is we will uh, go to our one drive so i'll click on this and i will go to this one drive so in this one drive i will upload that uh, excel so whatever we created i will upload that so you can see here now we will uh, browse that file and uh, um, uh, so we will say upload files and uh, let's take it uh, from here timeout i'll just select it so you can see here now it is uploading it is uploaded successfully this is our timeout.xls file now i'll go to uh, this template section and here if you'll see uh, we will uh, check on this mobile or we can check also in uh, uh, let me check that so it is uh, you can see here this one quickly track your work hours and work location in an excel table now click on this now if you'll see here so we need to read that uh, from our onedrive as well so you can see a notification and the excel online that is the onedrive for business we can use now click on continue so on this if you'll see here now this is the uh, uh, flow will trigger on a button you can see here uh, on a button on uh, this will trigger that means if you'll, if i'll open my mobile app so that means if in the android phone or ios phone if you'll open that then we can see we'll see one uh, button and from there you can just click on that and then it will track it so if you'll see here location is one drive for business where we want to uh, in where we want to add a row into the table so it will be in one drive for business now i'll open the document library uh, you can see here it is on the uh, not not any other uh, things it is inside that one only so on here if you'll see i'll select it and we will be able to see the file you can see here timeout so click on that and then uh, it will show the table you can see here it is loading so the table one we didn't uh, give any name so it will be table one and you can see here three uh, uh, columns uh, are there so first thing is the button date and then timestamp and then full address like this we will uh, take it here so whatever the columns are there those things it will populate over here and the corresponding values now send a uh, push notification you can see here location and time locked successfully like this we will be able to send a notification remember when i'm say, saying that send a push notification you will get an alert in your mobile device so um uh, so now if i'll click on save so we saved it so next i will just save it here so go back yes okay now here we can run it uh, from here uh, also we can uh, uh, i can go to my mobile app and from there i can just click on the button workflow because these are button workflows so as i showed in uh, the previous uh, uh, lecture there are how we can start with uh, that so same way you will get a button and then click on that then you will be able to see it now next suppose i will run it here so once you run it here so click on continue and uh, you can see here timestamp uh, we will put it here so suppose it is 1945 like this 
and I will say run the flow. So once you will run the flow, you can see here, this is what is started. So click on that, you will be able to see the uh, status also, you can see here. And uh, now you can see here push notification, you can see the details here and uh, the text, it is coming here. Now if I will go to my OneDrive, uh, let me just refresh once. So in this OneDrive, if you will open our uh, table, our Excel table, we will be able to see uh, this is our timeout.excel uh, file. So I'll click on that. You will be able to see the this will open. So in Excel online, you can see now let me just expand this little bit. That's why date is not coming properly. You should you can now see here the date and uh, then you can see here the timestamp and then the full address. That's how it is. Uh, it will take and uh, this is how it is uh, it is uh, printing here so we uh, put uh, while creating the table we create uh, two two rows so that's the reason two gaps are there else it will come from here so this is how actually we can uh, uh, send a push notification um, so now let me go back so this is how actually we can uh, track our work hours and work location in an excel table so hope this too will be helpful to uh, work with mobile uh, uh, mobile flow or uh, or the button flows